Hi guys, it's Frank from Adventures Outdoors. Today we are gonna do. Ow! Oh, don't do that. No, just kidding. Let's go. Uh, today we're uh, gonna do a uh, a roast steak. Um, we were fishing all day today. We come home, we were late. I plan to slow cook this in the uh, crock pot, but uh, you know what? We don't have time for that right now. So you know what? I'm gonna slam that bad boy on the barbecue. So come on, over. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. So the beauty of this Costco barbecue grill is that these shields, these heat shields come out. So you can take this heat shield out and a nine by 13 inch uh, tray, that fits perfect in there for indirect cooking. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cook with this element and have the meat over here. And I'm gonna put a little bit of water in that. That'll add some humidity to the so-called oven and if I decide that I wanted to use that pan again it makes it easier to clean up if there's water in there from all the drippings so uh, this is really a great setup because now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the meat on this side and I'm gonna put the potatoes on this side and bake the potatoes here and also barbecue the onions and stuff in a foil pack so uh, yeah so this is gonna be fun um, it's a little bit quicker uh, when I do this, I always use a meat thermometer. We like our, our we love our meat medium rare, so uh, um, this is really important to use a thermometer, I think, uh, because you do have a tendency to overcook it. If you use a meat thermometer, I always kind of under it, so um, we'll probably look at this at 135 degrees internal temperature and uh, kind of see where we go from there. But this is, this is a great setup at this barbecue. Uh, this works great for chicken wings as well. Um, so we do our chicken wings like this, but anyway, this is this is the setup. Uh, I'll show you what we're going to do here in a second. <laughs> Just in case you were wondering what I was drinking. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I've I've gone to the to the coolers right now. I've had enough beer, so. Uh, uh, I'm drinking the cranberry and vodka, so this is, uh, yeah, so sorry. This is not Joanne. Joanne's drinking the beer. I'm drinking the wine coolers. Just so you know. All right. What you got to do, take your meat. So we got a nice piece of meat here. Don't be afraid to slap that meat. And uh, we're going to take this. And I'm going to throw some... Cooking oil on it. So this is a mixture of uh, mixture of um, uh, olive oil and, and uh, canola oil. Now, normally, what I would do with this meat, normally I would go and marinate this. So I would have marinated this in beer for a couple of hours, or uh, a soy sauce. Um, I, we, we, we really love uh, soy sauce, honey, and um, balsamic vinegar, and a couple of other things. I'll have to do a video on that, I guess. But that, that marinade is unbelievable, and uh, it's off the hook, especially with steaks. But we don't have time today, so uh, we were late fishing. So, And I'm going to use this, uh, it was from Cabela's, this Mountain Man uh, bourbon rub. This is a really good rub. It's a bit salty, but I mean, most rubs are salty anyway. But um, we really like this rub, so uh, I'm gonna put some oil on it, put the rub on it, throw it on the barbecue, get it cooking in indirect heat. Throw the potatoes on at the same time. Hopefully this will be all cooked up in 45 minutes. All right. So well, he's tired. His parents were out fishing and left him home. He mad. Are you mad? Are you mad at Papa? Well, you ain't mad at Papa, because he went fishing without you. Goodness gracious. At least you had an air-conditioning home to sit in. Yep. You're so cute. Okay, so, back to me. <laughs> it's always about you. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, so we're going to take Mountain Rub. Uh, nice, generous supply of the rub. I think I'm going to take this out and slam this on the Barbie. Do it over there, but I'm 
Nice. Okay, so we're going to put this in. Mmm, yeah. So hopefully we get a nice crust out of this. Uh, if it wasn't so late, I'd probably uh, throw my little smoker in here and uh, with some hickory and smoke this as well. But we're running low on time here. It's getting late and we got beer to drink and stuff to do. So, and we're starving. So let's do that. So there it is, but here's the kicker. Here's the kicker. Let me get a cloth here. Oh, one sec. Should have done this first. Joanne and I, we like a little bit of heat, so maybe once the juices start flowing here, I'll throw some more on this. But we like the red pepper flakes in here as well. So I'm gonna try to get some of that in there. Maybe we'll flip that over and I'll add some pepper to it afterwards. Right now, that's it. Secondly, we've got our potatoes with the little skewers that I bought uh, in there. So I'm going to put them on the direct heat and now I'm going to let this cook and um, get the onions ready and throw them on as well. So uh, probably the last minute, last little bit, I'll put those on the last 10, 15 minutes of this cook. Other than that, let her go, drink some beer, have some fun. That's what camping's all about. All right, guys. It's been almost an hour. Roast is at 140. Time to take it off. Let it rest for 10 minutes. Potatoes need another 10 minutes. Onions are on. Check this out. Bark looks beautiful on this. Oh my God. Look at that roast. That looks amazing. So, That's at 140 right now, internal temperature. So, look at that. Oh my God, that looks so good. Yeah? So, let's try not to drop it. Bring it over here. So, we're gonna wrap this in tin foil and allow this to rest. It's going to continue to cook in its own juices there for a little bit while we finish off the potatoes and the onions and mushrooms. So, and then we are all set to pig out. This is great. So it's at 140 right now. We'll cook another little bit. We are laughing. This is going to be so good. Oh, come on, do this. All right, guys, here we are. We're getting into it now. So it's been resting for a few minutes there. I don't know how long it is. We're just so hungry right now that uh, we'd like to cut into it. But it has been resting. You all know that the idea of resting meat, right, is have you ever cut into a steak, right, taking it off the barbecue and all the liquid comes pouring out? You want that liquid back into the muscle. I mean, it is just so important. Um, just adds so much flavor. So, oh my god, just look at that. Wow. All right. Had a little interruption there. The battery was dying on the camera. Oh my god. So much going on. Oh man. All right, let's see. Hopefully this is good. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, mama likey. Uh, 
Oh yeah, that's perfect medium rare right there. This is gonna be so good. Look at that, guys. I'm telling you, the only way to do it is with a thermometer. I mean, you're guaranteed then of getting what you want. And we like it blood red. However, I do like the end pieces. So that's mine. That's for Joey Lynn. Oh, this one will be a pop-up piece. Let's save the rest of those. Grab some veggies and we're good to go. Oh my god. I wish you could smell all that. Oh, it's so good. Check that out. Wow. Oh man, let me tell you, there is no reason to come camping and have to just, you know, deal with something minor or say, oh well, we'll just have to have hot dogs. No, you don't have to go with that when you're camping, let me tell you, there is no excuse. Ah. Okay guys, I'm really super excited. I've been sitting here watching, salivating, salivating? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Let's, let's see if Frank is as good as he says. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it's so good, Papa. Oh, my God. It's perfect. Medium rare, which is the way I like it. Very important in the zinc household. I'll do another taste test just in case. Mmm. Mmm, so good. I like the, the spice that you have on it and a hint of that spice. The other kick to it, like the spicy spice. Mmm. It's very good. Thank you, Papa. Awesome job. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. Check out the details below in the description. There's lots of information in there. And please leave me a comment. Leave me your thoughts. Love to hear from you guys. I always try to reply to everybody's comments. As well, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell to get the notifications when a new video has been uploaded. As well, if you like this video, you'll find more just like it right here. And don't forget to head over to my website by clicking right there. Thanks for watching.